What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be having a very deep look at the suppressors in Black Ops 4. This is something a lot of people have been asking me, are they worth it, or do they completely destroy your damage ranges on your guns? So today I broke down every single gun that you can put a suppressor on, and I'm going to be sharing all the damage ranges for you guys. Keep in mind, everything in this video is hand-tested values, because we simply don't have access to the hard-coded stats yet. But once I do get my hands on the hard-coded stats, if I find something interesting that I happen to miss with this hand testing, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But having said that, I am quite confident in these hand-tested values. Another thing I have to mention before we get into this is this is just focusing on regular multiplayer, not Blackout. We will be doing a separate video talking about Suppressor and its effect on Blackout, because it is definitely different over there in some capacity at least. So everything we're talking about in this video is for the regular multiplayer modes. So without further ado, let's hop right into the ranges. Let's start it off with the assault rifles, and with the assault rifles, we can only use a suppressor on the Vapor as well as the KN57. And with the Vapor, we get a standard 5-shot kill range of 37.5 meters, whereas the KN57 has a 4-shot kill range that goes out to 12.5 meters, and then a 5-shot kill range that stretches right around the 45-meter mark. With Suppressor on the Vapor, our 5-shot kill range is reduced by 10%, which is hardly noticeable. Very, very small decrease to our range with Suppressor on the Vapor. And with the Camp 57, its 4-shot kill range is also just reduced by 10%, but its 5-shot kill range was reduced by roughly 14% based on my testing. Now, I'm not too sure why this specific range seemed to be affected more than the other ranges that we see throughout this video. There were a couple anomalies like this, but for the most part, you're going to be seeing this 10% reduction to your range with the Suppressor. In either case, with either of the assault rifles that you can use the suppressor on, you won't really notice too much of a difference to your range values, which is quite surprising because a lot of the previous games have had a minimum 30% reduction to your range, and we're just not seeing that with the assault rifles in Black Ops 4. So next up, let's move on to the SMGs, and as you can see here, you can put suppressors on the MX-9, the GKS, as well as the SOG 9mm. And quite surprisingly, all of the SMGs in this game start at 6 shots to kill, assuming you're not hitting any headshots. So you guys can see the standard ranges there. The MX-9 has sort of like a medium range, whereas the GKS has a very, very long range for an SMG. That was actually kind of ridiculous. That one really surprised me. And then the SOG 9 mil doesn't have the greatest ranges out there, but it makes up for that when it comes to rate of fire. Now let's have a look at those ranges with Suppressor. As you can see, once again, just like with the Assault Rifles, not much of a decrease. For the most part, it's a 10% decrease to your range. But once again, we have one exception here, and this was the GKS at those longer ranges. This once again gets a 14% reduction for some weird reason. Again, not a massive reduction to your range, but I did want to point out that it was just slightly different on the GKS in its longer ranges. Next up we have the tactical rifles, and with these we can put a suppressor on the ABR-223 as well as the Swordfish. Having a look at the standard ranges, the ABR has a standard 4-shot range of about 20 meters, whereas the Swordfish has a standard 5-shot range at 50 meters, so that one really stretches out far. And once again, when we pop those suppressors on, we only see a 10% reduction to our ranges, which again, completely blew me away when I was doing this testing. Now in the LMG category, there's actually one LMG you can use a suppressor on, and this is the Hades. And based on my testing, at least within this range, I went back as far as I possibly could away from the target, and Suppressor had no noticeable impact whatsoever on your range values. Keep in mind though, with the Hades, I'm unable to find a range where it drops off from 5 to 6 shots to kill. It's a 5 shot kill at any range that you should be able to find in this game, at least in regular multiplayer. Maybe in Blackout it'll be a different story, but this is just focusing on regular multiplayer. So it probably has a really ridiculous range, kind of like the LMGs in COD World War II. They had a range of like 125 meters, which you will never find a practical line of sight that long. And Suppressor doesn't reduce it enough for us to notice any difference. So with the Hades, the Suppressor is only upside as far as I can tell. Now finally for primary weapons, there is one more gun that you can put a Suppressor on, and this is one of the sniper rifles. This is the Outlaw. With the Outlaw, there's no impact whatsoever to your range values because it has an infinite range. What it does is it affects your multipliers and therefore your one-shot kill potential on the body. Without a suppressor, the Outlaw will be a one-shot kill anywhere from the upper torso and up. So if you shoot him in the stomach, you'll get a hit marker, but if you hit him in the upper chest, you will get a kill. When you put a suppressor on there, the only way that you're going to get a one-shot kill on a full health enemy is when you hit them in the neck or the head. So Suppressor pretty much completely destroys the Outlaw unless you're just going for headshots with that thing, so I really wouldn't recommend using a Suppressor on the Outlaw unless you're playing hardcore game modes. Now finally, getting into the pistol category, we have two pistols that you can use a Suppressor on. This is the Strife as well as the RK-7. As you can see here, the Strife actually has a pretty decent 4-shot kill range, then it drops off to a 5-shot kill out to 37.5 meters, and then beyond that it's going to be a 6-shot kill. 
The RK7, on the other hand, has very, very short ranges here, and it's also a little bit strange. It goes from a 5-shot kill to a 6-shot kill to a 7-shot kill, and then straight to a 9-shot kill. So... Definitely not great at range with the RK7. Now let's have a look at the suppressor ranges. And once again, no surprise here, a 10% reduction to all of our range values when using a suppressor on a pistol. So those are all the effects that the suppressor has on our range values, which is the only stat that it says that it changed within those little stat bars that you have in game, but those are known to be very inaccurate. A few other things I tested. First off, recoil. Suppressor seems to have literally no impact whatsoever on your recoil at all. And another thing a lot of people have been wondering about is bullet travel time or bullet drop because in multiplayer something changed and it does appear that there is some form of a projectile system or like a hybrid system between projectile and hitscan. It's kind of hard to tell but I did do some testing at really long ranges as well as really close ranges and there seems to be no impact whatsoever on the amount of time it takes for your bullet to hit and there's also no impact on bullet drop but then again within these multiplayer maps you're not going to be finding lines of sight really long enough to see any bullet drop anyways if there is any within regular multiplayer. So when it comes to those values, it doesn't look like it's something we have to worry about and suppressor seems to have no impact whatsoever on that. So at the end of the day, according to my testing, suppressor seems to have very little impact or at least very little negative impact on the weapons in this game. This was actually quite surprising to me because it did kind of feel like suppressor was holding me back anytime I put it on. It felt like it was taking longer to kill, as if my range had been reduced significantly. But when you look at the actual testing and you do the testing for yourself, you'll see that this just isn't the case. So unless there's something else going on behind the scenes that I missed with my testing, which is possible and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated, it appears that suppressors have very little negative effect whatsoever. In fact, I would say these are actually the best suppressors we've seen in Call of Duty for many, many years at least, possibly in the entire franchise. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video on the suppressor. Of course, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of this? Were you surprised to see that suppressor doesn't really have much of a downside in this game? Also, for anybody wondering out there, yes, I will be covering the long barrel or extended barrel, whatever they call it in this game. I will be covering that in a video coming up fairly soon. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.